Hello everyone, this is TechBizMo, and today a lot of you may know that I'm going to be doing a live stream on installing and trying out uh, Windows XP in 2018. Um, as you can see, uh, I <laughs> uh, once again I was very not ready for this live stream. Uh, yeah, you can see that that's just named Scene. Um, um, let's just call it yeah, let's just call it scene. Nobody cares. Um, but anyway, yeah, you could see uh, we are here. I do. I am going to wait a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds for a couple people to join. We'll see if they do. I'll actually go ahead and send that text message out to Highland to see if he'll join into the live stream. Um, so yeah, go ahead and give me a minute to get started. Um, I am still also, you know, changing OBS a little bit, and I apologize if you can hear my dog in the background. But anyways, um, I'm going to uh, go ahead and send the message out to any of my friends that want to join in. Alrighty guys, I guess it is time to start. It is alright if nobody decides to join into this live stream, but anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and start this live stream. So we're going to go ahead and open up my virtual box as you can see here. Um, let's go ahead and do a little multitasking window thing um, like that. Let me just go ahead and verify that it looks um, right on the stream. Um, so yeah, I did send a message out to anybody that wants to go ahead and join in and now, and that is the people I actually have contact with. So, um, just to let you know, you guys know there. Um, but anyways, uh, I'm just going to make sure, as I said a minute ago, I'm going to make sure that everything, the layout looks right, and it does, um, since, yeah, right now I just got my very, very professional <laughs> multi-screen, um, yeah, I've got my, uh, phone just next to my computer just so I can see the preview of the live stream, but anyways, let's go ahead and get started with this. I think this would be a little bit interesting, um, for a video, but anyway, um, as I said, enough blibber blabbering <laughs> I guess I could say and let's go ahead and get started with this so as you can see I just have Windows XP in a virtual box um, and yeah um, I can go ahead and review the specs so the general yeah you just got the name and stuff and system everything over here seems to be very normal and yes uh, this live stream was postponed um, because um, I was having some technical difficulties and those technical difficulties were the, the uh, VirtualBox would not launch correctly. So anyway, we're going to see if this will work this time. And it is, yay. So we'll go ahead and let that open. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and stretch this out a little bit. If I can get my mouse over it, whoops. There we go. Okay, we'll minimize that. We'll leave it minimized. Then, as you can see here, we are at the Windows XP setup. You know what? Let's go ahead and just let's go ahead and just uh, say good, never mind. Um, I might say goodbye to the uh, the chat um, because yeah, I've got my phone right here, so I can look at the comments if I need to. So yeah, anyway. Let's just go ahead and remove the chat. So we'll just, sorry that it's black screen right now, but we'll go ahead and create 
our screen capture and we will minimize our comments. So there we go. Now I can hopefully full screen mode this. Um, and of course, oh wait, here we go. I can do, what is it? View, yeah, scaled mode. So I can switch to scaled mode. And now we are doing scaled mode. So yeah. All right, here we are in the Windows XP setup. Uh, hopefully you guys don't mind the, uh, you know, panel at the bottom and stuff and everything. Um, but anyways, let's get let's get started with this. So as you can see, it says welcome, uh, or Windows XP professional setup, and it says welcome to setup. This portion of the setup uh, program prepares Microsoft uh, Windows to run on your computer. To set up Windows Now, press Enter to repair a Windows installation using Recovery Console. Press R, and to quit setup without installing Windows, press F3, and of course I'm going to install, so Enter. Um, Windows Licensing Agreement. Um, we have End User License Agreement for Microsoft, um, and we'll go ahead and grant the license. How do I do that? Um, uh, Microsoft grants you the following rights provided that you uh, comply with all the terms and conditions of this EULA. Um, 1.1 installation, or one, one installation and use you may install. Um, so, how do I continue this? Um, oh, oh, F8 agree. There we go. So, we'll go ahead and click enter and format the yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. And as you can see, we are formatting the hard disk, which is unnecessary really because the disk is already formatted. But you know, we'll let it. Do, we'll, we'll go ahead and let it do its thing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and check if we have any people here, and we do. All right, so we have um, the Linux historian. Uh, thank you very much for joining, and we have Ed Jean. And we have, uh, yeah, okay, so we have two people right now. Um, the Linux historian, he said, hello, and Ed Jean, he said, install Temple OS. Um, I'm actually going to take a look at that. What is, let me look that up right now. Um, I've actually never heard of Temple OS. Please don't be another, you know, install Gen 2 meme. All right, um... Okay, I'll go ahead and take a look at that a little bit later. Um, okay, so we are, yeah, we'll go ahead and let that. So it should be, it should be installed right now. And yep, we have it. Uh, Microsoft Windows XP uh, X64 edition. Oh, <laughs> you can see how lovely this looks. The uh, scaled down mode. Okay, now I think since we are using scaled down mode, I can actually uh, enable the chat on the side of the screen again. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, nope, didn't mean to do that, but anyway, here we are. Um, scene. I'll go ahead and open up my, my chat as well so I can see it on my screen. Okay, now I'm going to check out the preview. Make sure the preview is very nice. Hopefully it looks pretty good. Okay, comments. Hey, I want to let you know that I'm going to be uploading the History of Solace by the middle of May. Okay, I'll, I'll be sure to check that out. I'll be sure to check that out. All right, um, checking the preview. Is the preview good? Yep, the preview looks seems to be okay, so we'll leave it as it is. All right, regional and language options. You can customize windows for different regions and languages. Um, We'll go ahead and do that. We'll do Ryan and organization we'll leave as blank. Uh, product key. I'll go ahead and look for one of these. Actually, am I? Nope, I'm not able to go without the product key. So I'm going to go ahead and be go go ahead and be illegal and look up a product key. But really quick, you should try React OS. It's pretty much Windows 98, but open source. I did actually try out uh, React OS, and I made a video about React OS. I'll actually go ahead and uh, uh, send you guys the link for it if you would like. Um, yeah, I'll actually go ahead and put up the link for my React OS video. So, 
going to go to taking a look at React OS and I'm going to go ahead and share that to you guys. So let's go ahead and resume our stream. And there you go, the Linux historian. There is the my link to my React OS video. Um, what did I call it? I think I called it, yeah, React OS, the open source windows or something, something like that. But anyways, um, I'm going to leave the screen as it is currently, and I'm going to search for a product key. So just to let you know, yes, my screen is live right now. I'm just searching for a product key on um, online. So we'll go ahead and search for that. Um, Windows XP professional product key. I mean, I don't really think it's illegal anymore because it's a... Uh, this is a very, very old operating system. Okay. Okay, if you could give me a shout out about it at the end of the stream, that'll be great. Yes, I sure will. Just please remind me to do that because I am extremely good at forgetting what people ask me to do. So if you can, do me a favor and remind me to do that. Um, yes, I sure will. I will do that. I don't, give a pro I don't have a problem with giving shout outs to people, even if they ask, as long as you know they're not a, <laughs> a Minecraft YouTuber or something. I don't do that. Um, I mean, if you guys were there be, uh, at the beginning, which I know none of my, view my current viewers were, um, I used to be a Minecraft YouTuber. Um, yeah, so anyways, we're just going to try out, uh, I, I believe I do have an old set of product keys, um, uh, in my, in my parents, um, in my parents' office, uh, but anyways, we'll try this product key, so H689T, and it's not typing, h 689, oh, 689 T, um, BF M2F, R6, R6, GF8, 9W, PY, M, um, B6378. I'll go ahead and try that. Okay, the product you the product you entered is invalid, so we're going to check out something else. Going to see if we can find a different product key. Alright. Alright, so hopefully I can find some Okay, here we go. Windows XP Professional X64 Edition product key. Okay, we're going to go ahead and try this next one. Um, whoops. Anyways, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and try our next key um, right here. So we'll go ahead and remove this one. And we'll try this. I apologize if this is going to take a while. Um, I did not plan for this because I really wanted to get the stream out. Um, reminder, please. Get, okay, uh, okay. How you feel? I have ADHD, which I forget stuff often. I have ADHD as well. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I have ADHD as well. All right. Um, F V M K four six D D four B. Two six M B four seven four J B two R four X W M. Oh, there we go. There we go. We that that was the right product key. Okay, we'll go ahead and name this uh, Ryan Windows XP. There we go. And we'll go ahead and type in my administrator as administrator password. Um, we'll just go ahead and do 
that my typical password. There we go. I mean, I probably should have done something else just in case I accidentally typed in the into the chat or something. But anyways, uh, date and time, Friday, April 6th. Yep, that is correct. All these seem to be correct, except my time is Eastern. Eastern time, U.S. and Canada. There we go. And now we are installing Windows, pretty much. All right, typical settings. Um, nope, this computer is not on a network. Okay, setup will complete approximately 27 minutes, which actually, this is a lie, it goes extremely fast. Um, most of the time it goes extremely fast. I also allocated this, um, I also allocated this virtual box with eight gigabytes of RAM, so that should make it go even faster. Um, it, I mean, it should be fast in general since I did add a lot of RAM, and you know, uh, Windows XP, originally, it only required, um, <clears throat> How much did it require? I think, I think it originally required um, a gigabyte. No, it it originally required um, 512 megabytes of RAM. I think. Um, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Um, if we still have those two participants, or if it's just Linux. Yep, it's this just the Linux historian now. But that's okay. See you later, Edgene. Um, all right, Re registering components. Setup will complete in approximately 15 minutes. Hopefully it's faster. As you can see, it is getting a lot faster. Um, as, as you saw a minute ago, it just said 30 minutes, but you know that was just a minute ago, and now it only says 10. Yeah, I mean, I've been, I've been wanting to do this stream for quite a while now. Um, because, you know, you know me. I just, I'm kind of a guy that likes old technology, like whenever I watch a show, I like the first season. That's, that's an example. When I, uh, I like to use, um, a Dell Latitude E6430. I don't, I don't want to use something with, you know, a Core i7, uh, clocked at 4.7 gigahertz, you know, stuff like that. Um, I prefer, you know, I prefer what I prefer. It's very simple. I'm, I'm a very simple person. Um, you know, um, that's, I mean, that, that is why I like, um, computers because, or that is why I like Linux because it doesn't require a lot of, it doesn't require a lot of, uh, CPU, GPU usage, all of that doesn't require a lot of RAM. I mean, I mean, yeah, I use 16 gigabytes of RAM, but still, and look at that. You are really fast. One minute. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I think it's the actual thing now. Okay. Um, we'll just go ahead and let that do its thing, not press any keys. And here we are, Microsoft Windows XP X64 edition. You can see how fast that booted up. Let's hear those that beautiful startup sound. If it'll if it if you guys can even hear it, hopefully you guys are uh, will be able to hear. Actually, yeah, you guys you guys uh will you be able to hear it? I think you will. Um <laughs> love my picture. Um Let's type in my password. Okay, yep, I can tell you guys heard that because I just opened up the OBS and it just did a bunch of sound levels when it did that. So hopefully that didn't make your ears bleed, um, whoever's watching. Okay, it's just you again, still. That's perfectly fine. I, I always like, uh, I, I always normally have like one or two viewers, but that's, that's perfectly fine. All right, display settings. Yeah, definitely. Um, Correct your screen resolution. Uh, yes. There we go. It looks a little bit nicer. Um, let's see. What if I do... What if I actually turned off the um, the full screen? So we're going to shut down for now. We're, I want to hear the shutdown sound. Ah, don't you guys just love that? All right, anyway... Um, I'm going to open up VirtualBox, and we are going to try to do, um, we're going to try doing this normal screen. So we'll see if it works um, at full screen, normal resolution. Uh, once it logs in, hopefully it's a great, you know, stable resolution. Um, if I type in my password. 
Okay, doesn't look like it's going to do that, but this, um, I'm actually going to check the preview of that on my preview screen. Um, to do it quickly, we'll look at, look at it on here. Um, oh, oh yeah, we've still got the, uh, the chat off screen. I forgot about you guys. <laughs> forgot to do that. Okay, now, now the chat's on screen. Your computer might be at risk. Let's do that. Um, I guess we can do, uh, scaled mode. It's not much of a issue. Okay, we'll go ahead and resize our Windows XP. You know, Windows XP was actually, in my opinion, the greatest edition version of Windows ever released. Um, and this was the, probably the first version of Windows I ever used in my life. Alright, here we are. We got the screen corrected. We'll go ahead and close that out. Um, ooh, we have a new viewer. Um, hello, Derp Derpington. I give... I gives me goosebumps. It gives me goosebumps every time it makes that sound. <laughs> That's funny. You know, it, um... Uh, I get goosebumps when I hear the Windows Millennium Edition sound. <laughs> they sound it sounds extremely scary. Um, but anyway, uh, wow, we have Windows or Internet Explorer. Um, let me actually see if I can fix this screen resolution. If not, hopefully it's not too uh, too big of a problem for you guys. Um, appearance and theme? No, I forgot. It's supposed to you you do this and then. Um, Display or desktop? Nope. Um, apply. Whoa! Whoa! I did not know I could do that. Okay. Um, sixteen. No, we'll do that. We'll see if that's right. Um, we'll do a little bit less there. There we go. That's a little bit better. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Okay. My personal was Vista. Joking, of course, that was the messiest Windows ever. Um, just want to give you a tip about YouTube that I use if good tags for three to five words each. To find good tags, use Tube Buddy extension and follow YouTubers that help with YouTube, help you, that help with YouTubers grow like Roberto Black. Okay, thanks. Um, Blake, not black, sorry. <laughs> R Roberto Blake, I apologize. Uh, yeah, that got me too, because I've, you know, I never knew how to pronounce that name anyway. All right, um, we'll keep the recycle bin there. Yeah, let's see what's in the recycle bin. Okay, we have nothing. All right, so is Windows XP usable for 2018? Yes, yes, my opinion, yes. Use it. We're going to change some user account settings. We're going to change it to the ugly cat, the one that I always used. I mean, that cat's not that ugly, but it's con it's kind of scary. Okay. <laughs> All right. Performance and maintenance. Yeah. Let's just go ahead and ooh, what's that do? <laughs> nothing. It does nothing. Um. Let's change this to our classic Bliss wallpaper. Let's change it to Bliss. No. Are you going to tell me you don't have Bliss on the on this version? Oh, we do. Never mind. Yay. Bliss wallpaper. Um, definitely usable. I agree, brother. <laughs> um, all right. Tour of Windows XP. Welcome to the Windows XP tour. Play the animated features. Uh, let's do that. Welcome to Windows XP from Microsoft, the new Whoa. version of Windows that brings your PC to life. Experience the best. Experience Windows XP. Best for business. Windows XP Professional shines as a business operating system. Get more work done faster, easier, anytime, anywhere. Let's skip the intro. To begin the tour, click any selection. Um, Windows XP Basics. Love the animations. 
friendly new screens, simplified menus, and a whole lot more. Start menu. Nikki, the and then she's got a picture of a frog. Automatically, the first time you read. Windows. Control panel. Yeah, this the is boring. Oh wait, no, no, don't. Desktop. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that was a little bit annoying, so I'm not gonna do that again. Ooh, Windows Media Player. Woo. I might do a video where I actually destroy Windows XP. Like I just download a bunch of viruses. Please wait, upgrading database. What did I do? Oh yeah, it's the Windows Media Player. Um, Windows Security Alerts. Ha, uh, classic old Windows XP. Ooh, bing. Let's go ahead and open up Microsoft Internet Explorer. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, um... You can see Donald Trump there. All right, um, it's funny how it showed my location. I don't really care, it's not my address. All right, um, we'll do duckduckgo.com. Oh, I did duckduckgo, comma, com. <laughs> duckduckgo.com. This page cannot be displayed. Oh, yeah, oh, thanks. All right, google.com. Okay. Dang it. Can I not download anything? I want to download a Chrome browser or like Firefox browser. Um, movie time. Let me get the popcorn. Oh, <laughs> you want me to get back in the intro? I will. Or in the uh, introducing Windows XP thing. Tour of Windows XP. That's what it's called. Um, email. Outlook Express. Um, let's use John Smith. Oh, look. <laughs> For example, John Smith. That's pretty coincidental. John dot Smith at gmail dot com. Ooh. Oh, I love that sound. I want to play it again. Oh, I love that sound too. Oh yeah. All right. Um, no, it's fine. Okay. Um, yeah, just let me know if you want me to get back in there, because you know there are some people that might want to get back in there. Oh, I love that sound. All right, let's go ahead and open up these sounds. Nope, I don't wanna um, search. So, ooh, we got the puppy doggy, oh, puppy doggy. <laughs> I don't want that. Bye-bye. All righty, Windows Messenger. Click here to sign in. No, oh, thank you. Windows Messenger is still running. Okay, let's close that out. Exit. Um, okay, I think I can go to Control Panel and Appearance and Themes. Is that where Sounds would be? Oh, there we go. I saw it. I saw it. Appearance and Themes and Sound. Oh, uh, never mind. That's Troubleshooters. Um. Can I go ahead and do properties, settings? Ooh, default blue. I can change the color scheme. Ooh, olive green. I don't like that. <laughs> All right, screensaver. Let's check out our screensaver. Beautiful. All right, um, we use energy. Star, um, effects. I kind of want to find the sound though. Oh, sounds, speeches, um, sounds and audio devices. Let's just check all the sounds. I just want to hear all the sounds. Oh my gosh, I love that. Um, critical battery alarm. Ba bum. Sorry, when it comes to sounds, Microsoft Windows XP is the best. Oh, yes. <laughs> Let me see if I can find the uh, startup sound. Start Windows, here it is. Huh. 
All right, there we go. I got what I wanted. All righty, um, let's go ahead and uh, download some programs, which I'm probably not going to be able to do, and you guys know why. So, you know, show this warning. Oh, thank you. Oh, look. Look at that. <laughs> let's go to, um, let's see. Wait, I'm going to try DuckDuckGo again. Um, oh, we got Bing, so can I download Chrome? Get Chrome. No! Um, Chrome for desktop. Dang it. Chrome download. Can I go to CNET? Please. Oh, <gasps> yes, maybe it'll work. Um... Ooh, Minecraft. <laughs> uh, Tube Mate. Where's Chrome? Let's search for Chrome. Whoops. Chrome. Um. Yep, I guess we're not going to get it. Oh, wait. Vidmate, WhatsApp. Nope, I guess not. Saw something inappropriate in there. I'm leaving. <laughs> Ooh, well, soft on. Nope, nope, no soft on it. Um, what if I do Windows Update? So we'll do Windows Update. Windows Update. There we go. Okay. Another good YouTubers that help you with YouTube are video are video creators Daryl Eves, and they are. There are others, but don't know how to spell their names, but if you got two of them, would help a lot with YouTube. Okay, um, information bar. Checking if your computer has the latest version of Windows. Updating software for use with the website. Is that it? Oh wait. I don't want to try that. <laughs> Wait, actually. I'll try this out. 32-bit version of Internet Explorer. Open it now. Ah! <laughs> hey, uh... Um, no Batchman and Derp Derpington. Let me know if you guys know of any, um of any ways to get a new a different browser in in um Windows XP. Pretty sure there I mean wait, I could actually try something. Um let me try actually doing something like finding a um all right, Google Chrome. Let me try this, if I can find just a uh, .exe file for it. No? <laughs> no, not for Linux. We'll, we'll do for the Windows. For Windows. Let me actually check, it the, check out the uh, chat. Let's see what we got. Um... Trust me, I sub to all of them, and they help me a, with YouTube a lot, 100% with tagging, the ideas, thumbnails, and more. I would highly recommend them. I'll show that. Why was that <laughs> hidden? Okay, I'll, I will I will try Linux Historian. All right, Chrome Web Browser. Darn it. Let's find it for Windows. Download now. Download Chrome. Darn it. <laughs> All right, Chrome for, nope. Latest version. Oh, for Windows, maybe, please. <laughs> okay, that works. Not gonna work. 
not gonna work. Um, yeah, sorry if the health is terrible. Alrighty, let's see. Alright, um, whoopsie. Let's do that so I can see my chat. Alright, let's, it's okay that we don't have a browser. Let's do some other stuff. Alright, um, printers and faxes. Let's actually see if I can add a printer. Local printer attached. No, not attached. And don't forget to shout out me. Sure. Um, the wizard is unable to plug in. Okay, so we'll try. We'll go ahead and try a network printer. Browse for a printer. Searching for printers. Let's see if we get my office jet. Come on. Hmm. Ah! Gosh, that scares the poo out of me. Ah! Okay. No need to be mad. Please. Alright, set up faxing, troubleshooting, printing, control panel. Let's see, how many participants do we have now? Okay, it's just Linux Historian. Alrighty. Security Center. Um, Tech Bismo, look at, at the Firefox comment for the last comment. Oh, you should install 32-bit version of Firefox. Heard it still supports Windows XP. Let's try that out. Thank you. Um, 32-bit Firefox Windows XP. I'm not going to get there. Um, now the now. Nope. Not that. Um, let's see. If I go to my Windows XP... Um, we, uh, uh, Noah Batchman, will you go ahead and let me know how to do this, how to get it in Windows XP, if, if you know how, just let me know if you know how or if you don't know how, because, you know, we'll see if we can get this on. Accessibility options, we don't need that. Date and time, no. Appearance of themes, let's actually change the computer's theme, I might be wrong. Sorry if I am. It's okay. It's okay if you're sorry. Or <laughs> it's okay if you if you got it wrong. I apologize. I mean, not a big deal anyway. Appearance. Settings. Advanced. Yeah, we don't need we don't need to edit that anyway. Um, let me see. I mean, it's it's kind of weird without the browser. <laughs> I mean, what are you gonna do? All right, date and time, time zone, internet time. File settings transfer. New computer. We don't need to use that. All right. Ooh, let's go ahead and view my directories. You can see how nice these folders looked. I actually really liked how they looked. Um, the theme of them. Desktop, my computer. My network places, my videos. Nope, no videos. Publish this folder to the web. Um, if you could go to IE and search up Firefox, it might show up. Internet Explorer. Stop browser. Yep. 
I guess not. Um, let me see about Firefox. Nope, I guess not. Old version of Firefox for Windows XP download. Ah! Ah! Owie! That hurts my ears. Okay, um... Uh. Now stop it! <laughs> Let's see, okay, no new chats. So program, access, and defaults. Because I love this sound so much, and I want it to seem natural, we're gonna restart. Windows is shutting down. <clears throat> Nope, no booting from CD. I don't know, I, I hope there's a way I can get it on, I mean, it's okay if I can't get it this video, but, you know, maybe we'll do a future, maybe I'll do a tutorial on it if, you know, for those people who are still using Windows XP, obsessed with it. Oh wait, uh, virus protection not found. Windows firewall, internet options. Let's see. Participants, okay. Automatic updates. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Well, I'm sorry guys. I guess I'm not going to be able to to go on the internet. It's a little bit sad. What if I do make me a moderator, please, so I can share links? Okay. Um, this is going to be temporary, honestly, though, because I don't, I only like to make my very closest friends as moderator. So, sorry, sorry about that. But, yeah, I, I mean, you can ask me whenever there's a live stream if you want to be moderator, and I'll sure let you. Because, I mean, you've been a good viewer for a while. I don't know why it doesn't work. Um, let's go. Refresh, refresh, refresh. Ooh. Let's see. Oh, I think you sent me a faulty link. Wait, let's see what the... I don't know. Yeah, I think you sent me a faulty link, um, Linux historian. So go ahead and resend it to me really quick. Actually, we'll try out, I know this probably sounds stupid, but we'll try it out in here. Oh, I guess I can't, can't copy and paste from that. Sorry, it worked for me. It's all right. Hold on a second. I'm going to look for something really quick. Um, internet options. Okay. Download Firefox.
Okay. We're gonna try this out. We'll see. Actually, is there any way I can, if, if this does work, is there any way I can move the exe file to, um, the exe file to my virtual box? We'll see if I can do that. Yep, Firefox setup dot exe. Load that download. I know it's an exe file on Linux, but you know, it's worth a try. I might actually grab my USB because I believe uh, USBs are combat compatible through virtual boxes too. So, try this. We'll move it that to the desktop. Let's see if we actually did move it to the desktop. Okay, we got Firefox right there. And now, we'll open our file manager. We don't need Corora XFCE anymore, so. Ow. That beep is terrible. <laughs> no, you're not gonna work. I think the files are locked like this, so let me go ahead and grab a second USB. Hopefully, I can find one that is not in use. I believe this one actually has Kryptonite OS on it. So, go ahead and open that up again. Why is it say Roar still? <clears throat> hmm, I guess this is also a Corora USB, but I, I don't know, we'll try, we'll try flashing it. Hold on one moment. Okay. So yeah, um, let me format this. Let's remount, actually. Wait, am I able to? Nope, I guess not. Okay, sorry for delaying the comments. Okay, so. Nope, you haven't commented anything anyway. Um, let me grab one more USB. Since when do I have this many USBs with Corora on it? I literally have three USBs, USB drives with Corora on it right now. Oh wait, I can just format this. I think. How can I not remember how? <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's all the USBs I have with me. So, I don't know. It's okay. We'll do that in a future video. I can probably try something else a little bit later. Um, and also a live stream form if you guys want. Um, well, yeah, guys, um, I, I know I didn't get that many, many viewers on this, but um, I think it's time to go ahead and close this stream out. So quickly, before I end this stream, I have a shout out. And of course, as you guys know, that shout out is to the Linux historian. So go ahead and check out his channel in the description. I will actually go ahead and add that to the description as a link in the description uh, once we are done with this live stream. Um, I might, I might as well just go ahead and open, um, his channel in a new link and we'll go ahead and copy and paste that to our chat. So there you go, guys, whoever is still in the stream, which is, I believe, 
um, yep, it's only the Linux historian, um, yeah, um, if, you know, anybody sees this, um, the link in the, the link, uh, to his channel will be in the description, um, by the way, I have Linux YouTubers as moderators on my channel, and that means you and others, so I don't want me as a moderator, it's fine, okay, well, thank you very much for your kindness, your kindness, um, Linux historian, and thank you for understanding, um, about my, my policy, um, that I use. Well, anyway, guys, thank you guys very much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, um, and as I said, I will be doing a future video on, you know, showing you guys how to, how to operate a web browser on, um, Windows XP, if it is even, um, indeed possible. Well, anyway, guys, as I said, it has come towards the end of this video now, uh, well, the end of this live stream now, but I'm sure most of you guys, yeah, a, a lot of you guys, all of you guys, except for minus one, no, minus three people, um, are going to be watching this live stream, um, in the future, um, as a actual, um, video. Well, as I said, guys, I know I've said this already, but thank you guys very much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and make sure you check out the Linux Historian in the link below. Bye, everyone. I will catch you guys in the next one, which means I will probably be live streaming a room tour later. Um, yeah, that's what I actually had planned, so yeah, I'm going to go now. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.